Welcome back everybody to Phoenix Fright, the Ace Attorney Trilogy. Um, this is going to be the second episode, obviously, and if you guys remember my first episode, we did the first turnabout, and then we just started the second episode, which was uh, it's called Turnabout Sisters. So we're going to go ahead and uh, you know, continue on with the, the story. Yes. Alright, so back to September 15th, September 15th, September 5th, 908 p.m., Faye and Co. Law Offices. Uh-oh, I'm late. Huh, that's strange. Guess the chief left without me. She said her sister was coming over, so we should all go out for dinner. What's that smell? Blood? Mia! Maybe she's in her office. Examine. I smell blood and that can't be good. I have to check and see if Mia, if Mia the chief's okay. That smell. Blood. Sob. Sis. Someone's there. Chief? Chief? Chief! Who are you? A strange girl dropped out cold. I left her lying on the office sofa. I went back to the chief where she lay under the window. Her body was still warm. I could feel it when I held her shoulder. Then all too quickly, it began to fade. Until finally she was cold. Chief. Some shards of glass were scattered on the floor. They seem to be the remains of a glass light stand. The chief's chair, a simple functional design, feels pretty good to sit in too. It's encrusted with dried blood. How ironic this became the murder weapon again. Chief, it's hard seeing her like this, but if there are any clues here, she was struck on the head with a blunt object. She probably died instantly. The thinker lying next to her must have been the murder weapon. The thinker added to the court record. Hmm, there are some glass shards near the chief's body. Lots of pieces of glass sand line broken in the room. Glass shards added to the court record. Nothing else that seems like a clue here. Hmm? A piece of paper. It must have fallen from Mia's hand. What could it be? A word is written in blood on the scrap of paper. Maya? Did Mia write this? This piece of paper is received from a department store, dated yesterday. Receipt added to the court record. I think that's enough snooping around for now. I'd better call the police and find out what that girl was doing here. That girl just now. Where'd she go? I put her right there on that sofa. Uh-oh, I hope she didn't run on me. Yipes! Don't scare me like that. Um, excuse me, but who are you? It's okay, I work here. Maya. Maya Faye. Maya Faye? Maya. So Mia was writing this girl's name. Maybe I should show her the receipt? I never thought there'd be a use for evidence like this outside the courtroom. Before Mia died, she wrote a message with her own blood. She wrote it on the back of this receipt. The, the, that, that's my name! Wh why? Why would she write my name? Please, just calm down. Wh why would sis write my name? Uh-oh. Now I've done it. I'd better hurry up and call the police. What happened? She needs to be in shock. I don't want to disturb her, but I have to know. Uh, excuse me? Can you tell me what happened? I came in. The room was dark. And sis... Sis! So she was already dead. So you're the chief's sister. 
I'm her younger sister. And you were here visiting this late at night? Yes. She said she wanted me to keep some evidence for her. Evidence? Yes. It, it was that clock. It was the thinker. I probably gotta go back into the office and call the call the police, don't I? Yeah, I do. Okay. Right. I better call the police. That's funny. A few of the screws in the receiver are missing. It looks like someone was halfway through taking it apart. Police? Please come quick. W what was that? Someone screaming from outside the window. She's staring right at me. She's holding a phone in her hand. I just wrote a voice crack during that entire thing. I'm so sorry. Wee oo, wee oo, wee oo, wee oo. The police! Sounds like they're coming this way. Freeze! Police! All right, I'm Detective Dick Gumshoe, see? Gumshoe? What a odd name. You received a report from the building across the way, see? Got a person saying they saw a murder. It must have been that woman I saw. Anyway, I don't want either of you moving one inch, okay? Great. Just great. Maya. Wait, she wouldn't have... Nah. Whoa! Excuse me? Eat... This word Maya here mean anything to you? Um, that... That's my name. What? The victim drew this here note in her own blood, see? With her dying breath, she wrote down the killer's name. K killer I'm not... Case closed. You're coming down to the precinct, ma'am. What? Mia's younger sister, Maya, was arrested on the spot. I was taken in for questioning and didn't get out until the next morning. My eyes were heavy, but I couldn't sleep. I sat around, waiting for visiting hours to begin at the detention center. I had to talk to Maya as soon as possible. September 6, 9.07 a.m. Detention center and visitor's room. Wow, they have poor Maya locked up like a criminal. Oh. It's you. The lawyer. G good morning. Good morning. She looks so tired. Um, are you going to be my attorney? Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. It's up to you. I better give it to her straight. It's up to you. Up to me? Yes, I don't think this is something I should decide. After all, you're the one in trouble here. They're never going to believe me, are they? Even you, when you found me in the office, you looked at me like I had done it. Did I look at her like that? No. No, I never saw it. it. It's okay. I understand. And I've also heard about you. Heard? Heard what about me? I was talking to my sister on the phone the other day. Today was my junior partner's first time in court. Wow, really? How'd that go? It was quite the scene. Honestly, I was on edge the whole time. It's been a while. Huh, so he crashed and burned? He's a genius. One of those strike fear into the heart, hearts of evil types. The only thing he's lacking is experience. Huh, sounds like it was fun. Well, I know who to go to if I ever get in trouble. into trouble now. I don't know, Maya. I think you might want to wait. Give him three more years. That is, unless you want to be found guilty. Unless you want to be found guilty. I just read that the wrong way. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's what she said. I, I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult you. No, it's okay. It's true, I guess. But at the same time, I can't just sit by and watch. When I think of the person who did this to Mia... I know. There's something I've been wanting to ask you. Yes? 
What's that outfit? Oh, this? This is what all acolytes wear. It's my uniform, you, you could say. Uh, acolytes? Like people in religious training? What is it you do? Oh, it's nothing strange, really. I'm a spirit medium. In training. A spirit medium? I'm pretty sure that qualifies as strange. Could you tell me about the day of the murder? Yes. Let's see. That morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. Evidence? Yes, that clock shaped like the thinker. The one Larry made? How could that have been evidence in a case? Um, right, she said something about that. I remember. Do you want to hear it in her own voice? Her, her own voice? Yes, I'm pretty sure our conversation is on my cell phone. You recorded it? Yeah, I forgot how to delete those things. So you say you have a conversation with your sister on your cell phone. Let's hear it. Right. Oh, I just remembered that detective took my cell phone. Sorry. Oh, right. Of course. Next time I see Detective Gumshoe, I'll ask him for it. I'll write you a note so you don't forget, okay? Sure, thanks. Maya's memo added to the court record. Could you tell me about the day of the murder? Sorry, I know it must be hard. No, it's okay. All I've been doing in the last few hours is talking about it. I've kind of gotten used to it. Let's see. That morning I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. That's a sinker clock that Larry made. It practically qualifies as a serial murderer by now. So then, when did you arrive at the office? It was right around 9 o'clock. The lights were off and I could smell blood. Th then I found her. My sister. Thanks, Maya. That's all I need to hear for now. So you're an acolyte. Uh, or medium in training. That's right. The Faye family, especially the woman, have always been very sensitive to the spirit world. Wait a second. You said the Faye family? So Mia was into this stuff too? Of course. She left the mountain to follow her career, she said. Her powers were first class too. I, I had no idea. Hmm. Wait. What? So you're a real honest-to-goodness spirit medium with ESP and all that? Yes, in training. Well, can't you contact me as spirit then? We can just ask her who killed her. I, I'm sorry. I'm still in training. I couldn't do something on that level. Hmm, I thought that would be too easy. Um, huh? Something the matter? Um, I was wondering, could I ask you a favor? This is the address of a famous lawyer. My sister gave me this a long time ago. She said if I was ever in trouble, I should call him. And while well, I'm in trouble, do you think you can go ask him to represent me? Hmm. So you would rather have him over me. <laughs> I mean, at the same time, I know your sister said that you, you don't know if you can trust me yet to be your lawyer. Why would you have another lawyer over me? I'll do it for your wishes, but still, you would rather have another lawyer over me. <laughs> sure, why not? I'll go ask. Thank you so much. I have no one else to turn to. Say, what about your parents? I, I see. Don't worry. Leave it to me. Thank you. The trial's tomorrow at 10 o'clock. What? Tomorrow? Tomorrow. What if this guy refuses? They told me that if I don't find one, the state will pick an attorney to defend me. When will that happen? They're giving me until 4 o'clock this afternoon. And visiting hours are almost up. I better hurry. Right, I'll be back. September 6th, Grossberg Law Offices. Grossberg, Grossberg, I don't know. According to the receptionist, the big boss is out. She couldn't say when he'd be back. It must be hard to keep track of everything when you're a famous lawyer. Not to mention run an office like this. I guess I'll just have to come back later. Anything to look at in here? A table for clients. Hmm, an elegant ebony case, and if I'm not mistaken, that letter's made of solid gold. Even I can tell when someone here has got money to burn. Expensive looking mahogany bookshelves filled with expensive looking books. Hmm, funny. They don't look like they've ever been read. A solid mahogany desk. The wood's been polished to a deep luster. 
That painting has been bugging me ever since I stepped in here. The oil paint is so thick it's practically giving me a stuffed nose. I'm sure the price is nothing to sneeze at either, for that matter. Oh, ha ha, Phoenix, and your puns. An expensive potted plant. No idea what kind of plant it is, but it's probably the most expensive one available. Alright, um... Oof. I might have to go back to the detention center and say I got a re representer. Summer sex fan call offices. They also just feel like police officers. They're all busy searching for clues. Hey, you there! This is a crime scene, pal. No trespassing. Um, sorry. Don't I know you from somewhere? Wait, you're that butts guy, aren't you? No, no. Phoenix Wright. How could anyone mistake me for Larry? Ha! Ah, guess I got the wrong name, Mr. Wright. Sorry about that. That butts guy. He was a killer. And you're no killer, right? He was proven innocent. Um, right. And you were... Um, Gumshoe, wasn't it? Dick Gumshoe? Right, at your service. Hang on, that's Detective Gumshoe to you, pal. Anyway, get the name right. I don't go calling me Dick. Hey, Dick, get over here. Y yes, sir. But be right there. <laughs> um, ahem. <clears throat> You're her lawyer, right, pal? If you got business here, you better do it quick. Phew, he thinks I'm Maya's lawyer. About Miss Fay, did you do an autopsy? Hmm? You want to know the results, eh? Now don't you look at me like that, pal. It's no use. She might have been your boss, but that doesn't mean you get any special treatment. Alright, alright. You can see the report, but that's all. Autopsy report added to the court record. Um, about Maya. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the trial. Sorry, pal, but this is, this is one trial you aren't going to win. But why do you say that? The city's put Prosecutor Edgeworth on the prosecution. Edgeworth? I'm sure you know what that means, you being a lawyer and all. Prosecutor Edgeworth? That's right, pal. Mr. Miles Edgeworth himself. Wait, you do know him, don't you? Of course not. Never heard of him. Whoa, and you call yourself a lawyer, pal? About four years ago, this Edgeworth guy became a prosecutor at the age of 20. Everyone says he's a genius. Surprised you don't know him. Of course I know him. I was just playing dumb. He's a cold, heartless machine who will do anything to get a guilty verdict. There are rumors of back alley deals and forged evidence. All I know for sure is that Edgar hates crime with an almost abnormal passion. I never imagined they'd be facing him so soon. Okay, is there anything in here to look at before I gotta go back to, uh, detention offices? Mia's desk. Perfectly clean, as always. The only thing it's missing is... Mia. The sky is blue and so am I. There's a hotel right across the way. Alright, uh... Back to the detention center. Hey! What is it? Did you meet the lawyer? Sorry. I haven't seen him yet. I see. Hmm. I better go see if I can find this elite lawyer she's talking about. What about your family? I only had my sister. My father died when I was very young, and I don't know where my mother is. Don't know? So she could still be alive? The women in my family have been mediums for generations. They say a lot of spiritual power runs in our blood. About 15 years ago, our family was involved in it. Intimate. There's a man, and he... He... He ruined our mother's life. Ruined? After that, she disappeared. Several years after that, my sister announced she would become a lawyer, and she left the mountain. So you live by yourself? Yes, I've gotten used to it. Oh, also, I had to become independent or I would lose my powers. I feel bad for her, all by herself up on that mountain. So who was this man who, um, ruined your mother? About 15 years ago, there was an unusual murder case. It made quite a stir. Everyone was talking about it, apparently. The police were running out of leads, and they were getting desperate. Wait, they didn't use a spirit medium? Did, wait, they didn't use a spirit medium, did they? The police convinced my mother to try to contact the victim. Wow, so what happened? The case was solved. We thought. You thought? The man the mother helped the police capture was innocent. The police's consultation with the medium had, been all, had all been carried out in secret, of course. 
But a man found out about it and leaked it to the press. He told all the papers that my mother was a fraud, and the media jumped on it big time. She... My mother became the laughingstock of the nation. I see. White. Excuse me? White? That was his name. My sister told me. White. Hmm. Is there anything I can uh, present to her? I mean, I doubt I can really give her the autopsy report. Why does she want to know how her sister died? Obviously, she's new because she saw the body. This guard monitor this visitor's room. He hasn't moved an inch. A real pro, this guy. <laughs> Alright. Move. Back to Grossberg. No clues here. Alright, um... Let's go back to the law offices. I found out everything I need to know here. How the hell do you get a lawyer if the freaking lawyer is not in the office? How the hell do you do that? <laughs> um... Oh, wait a minute. Duh! Duh! Earth to idiot, I forgot to go ask Gumshoe for her phone. I was wondering, did you see my face cell phone? Oh, that? I have that. Do you think you could give it back? Sure. I mean, wait a second, pal. Tricky lawyer. Uh-oh, he's on to me. Tell, tell him straight or tell him not so straight. Um, um, uh... I guess tell him straight, he's probably gonna bust me, but I'll tell him straight. If I tell him why I want it, there's no way he'll give it to me. Something the matter? Oh, no, it's just, you know, you're a detective. <laughs> you know a detective. Nope, I know nothing, pal. That cell phone has a lot of numbers on it, like your boyfriend's. Our cell phone holds all the little girl's sweetest and spiciest secrets. You're trying to confuse me. Sorry, pal, I already checked all the numbers in memory. Impressive, you're quite the detective. Uh-huh. Oh, here, you can have the phone back. There weren't any suspicious call records in there, after all. Seems you didn't notice the recorded conversation. Maya cell phone received from Detective Gumshoe. Check the court record to hear the recorded conversation. I guess I've asked all the questions I need to. You all done, pal? Um, yes. Thank you. I'll be heading out now. Oh, wait. One more thing I wanted to mention to you. I don't suppose you're planning on talking to the witness. Anyway, you'd better not. No influencing the, influencing the witness with your lord, lawyerly way, lawyerly ways, pal. I'm sorry, I can't speak tonight. Come to think of it, I had completely forgotten about her. The witness? Yeah, Ms. April May. I'm sorry about this, but I can't tell you anything about her. Well, you just told me her name, Miss May, huh? So you sent her home already then. Aha! You're trying your lawyerly tricks on me now. She's not gonna go outside until her, outside her room until the trial. So she's still in the hotel across the way. I guess she'd know better than to try to get a detective to leak information. You got that right, pal. Time to pay a visit to Miss May. Mia, what's up? You haven't called in a while. Well, actually, there's something I want you to hold on to for me. Again, what's it this time? It's a clock. It's made it look like the statue of the thinker, and it tells you the time. Uh, I should probably tell you, the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame. I had to take the clock record out. Sorry. I had to put some papers- I put some papers inside it and said, Papers? Is that the evidence then? I'll leave that one up to your imagination. See, it's night at nine. All 
All right. Let's go talk to Miss April May. September 6th, Gatewater Hotel, room 303. Well, hello there, handsome. Um, hi. Smooth, right? Real smooth. You're the lawyer, aren't you? The detective told me. He said, don't say nothing to that lawyer, pal. See, he... Remember to self. Thank Detective Gumshoe for making my job harder. Gee, this is all like something out of a movie. It's all so exciting. I can hardly contain myself. Ooh, let me go freshen up so I can look the part for the beautiful eyewitness. I pity the blur to have to cross-examine this one. There's a screwdriver stuck in this drawer. I wonder what's inside. Let's take a look. Hey! Hey! What are you doing? No touching! Ooh, bad boy. You really shouldn't pry around other people's rooms now. You wouldn't want to make me upset, would you? Upset? I thought she was going to explode for a second there. I wonder what could be inside the drawer. Do you think you could tell me something? I need you to describe what you observed at the time of the incident. Ooh, observe. Incident. You sound just like a lawyer in the movies. I like a man with a big vocabulary. Damn it, my controller died. Better than that, encourage her. I gotta plug in my charger. I'm sorry. I my controller keeps dying and my freaking mic keeps cutting out. There we go. Better than that, encourage her. Or, do you know that thing that occurred, um, happened the other day? The bad thing? What did you see when it happened? I don't suppose you could tell me about it. Pretty please? Let me see. Um, well, dream on. If you want to know, you'll just have to come to court tomorrow, Mr. Lawyer. Oh, boy. Um, could you just... Who exactly are you? Oh, Mr. Lawyer, are you hitting on me? N n no Hey, I'm just doing my job here. Tiki, <laughs> you know you're cute when you blush. Believe me, this is the first time in my life I've blushed this much. Um, <laughs> right. Can you just tell me what it is you do? Well... No, see, he, you had your little hopes up, didn't you? Oh boy. I see there are two glasses on the table. Is someone staying here with you? Ooh, what an amazing powers of observation. You must be one of those famous detectives, like on television. Oh, no, not me. I'm er, just a lawyer. Say, Mr. Big Detective, why don't you go look for clues in the garbage, hmm? Miss May doesn't like nosy little lawyers. <laughs> oh boy. May I examine more thoroughly now, please? Light summer sunlight scenes through the windows. The fake color of this building, of course. You can see the inside of the room pretty clearly from here. I think it would be a little difficult to recognize the face in the distance, though. Anything like the court record I can uh, press her about? Not really, so I gotta go back to, uh, I gotta go back and talk to Maya. Hey, I got your cell phone back. Oh, say, can I listen to my sister's voice? Maya's eyes closed. She listened to everywhere with such intensity. Before long, tears began to roll down her cheeks. Thank you. Sorry, I've never seen that before. Well, I wanted to show you it, but in this case it was relevant, but obviously it's not relevant to the case. Um, yeah. So, um... Hmm. Seems like Mr. Grossberg is out. Well, maybe I should just wait here for him to come back. Ahem! If that wasn't the most over-the-top clearing of the sword I've ever heard. <laughs> Aha! So you're the one they say has been looking for me. Uh, y yes, that's me. He looks even grander than I imagined. Hmm, that badge on your collar. Ah, so you're a lawyer, are you now? Y yes well, yes. And what do you want? I'm not particularly busy these days. Please, proceed. Not busy? Then how come no one can get in touch with you? Hmm? 
Something the matter? You came to see the one and only Marvin Grossberg, did you not? Well, here I am, boy. What do you want? Out with it. Um, w well, sir, actually, it's about Maya. Maya Faye. Ah, yes, Maya Faye. Go on. Hmm, why the strange reaction? Ah, cha cha. I'm really quite busy here, son. I can't go take cases on a day's notice. No, it's quite impossible. W wait a second. How did you know the trial was tomorrow? L um, anyway, I'm afraid it's entirely impossible for me to represent her. Sorry. End of the discussion. What's going on? He refused me before I even got a chance to ask him. What do I tell Maya? How can you just refuse like that? Please tell me why you won't take the case. Hmm, at uh, um, well, you see, it's just... I'm busy, you see. But the client is Mia Faye's sister. Hmm. Ahem. <clears throat> Mia trusted you. She knew her sister would be in good hands. Yes. Yes, of course. I know that. However, I'm sorry, but I mustn't refuse. Sorry. Goodbye. Creep. Fine. I don't have time to argue with you anyway. I'll go look elsewhere. Think not. Huh? Did you say something? I think not, I said. W what do you mean? I'm terribly, terribly sorry, but I'm afraid that no lawyer worth their salt will take on this particular case. Terribly sorry, my boy. Why? I... I cannot say. I beg your pardon, but could you leave? Now? I have nothing more to discuss with you. What's going on here? How did you know Mia Faye? She worked here a long time ago. Quite the apprentice, that one. Learned my techniques in the blink of an eye. She left one day, quite suddenly. She had a mission. Yeah, she had a mission, you see. A mission? You can see it in her eyes. She followed it with a burning passion. Never looked back that one. That's quite a painting. Aha! You noticed. It's my pride and joy. Impressive, isn't it? Well, isn't it? The color of the sky, the hue of the sea, the weave of the straw hat. It's worth at least three million. I have no intention of parting with it, of course. No, I won't sell it. Not even to you. I wasn't interested. It's not for sale. I'm not buying. Jeez. September 6th, 3.42 p.m. Detention Center, Visitor's Room. Hiya. Oh, you're back. Did you find the lawyer? Um, well, what do I tell her? Well, see, just be honest. I, I really don't think you should use that guy. He didn't seem healthy. He was all skin and bones. What really happened? You don't mean he refused to help. Look. I see. I've been abandoned then. Just a little longer now for the state appointed lawyer comes, I guess. 4 p.m. Time's up. What should I do? Did I just leave her and go home? No, I'm gonna represent her. I've made up my mind. I'm gonna defend you whether you want me to or not. Why? Why? Well... No one is, no one is as sad as a person without any friends. I know, I've been there a long time ago. Why did I become a lawyer in the first place? Because someone has to look out for the people who have no one on their side. Maya, I won't abandon you. You can count on me. That's so kind of you. <laughs> I had to do the sniff too. That's funny. Well, let's fight this one and get you out of here. R right. Thank you. Whew. She smiled at last. She looks like an entirely different person. One last question. You are innocent, right? Yes. And I trust you. So you trust me too, okay? It's a deal. So, what next? There's something that's been bugging me. Just what was inside that strange woman's drawer? It was when I tried to look into the drawer she got all defensive. There has to be something in there. Good afternoon, sir. Excuse me, you are... Ah, I beg your pardon, sir. I am the bellboy of this establishment. At your service, sir. Oh, right. I just come up to the delivery room service, sir. Um, do you know where Miss May might be? Ah, I believe our guest Miss May is currently using the, uh, facilities. 
If you've no need of anything, I'll be taking my leave. Please, stay as long as you like. Enjoy. Yeah. Wait, no, hey! <laughs> Why does it seem like every time I come here, I end up embarrassing myself? <laughs> Wait, now's my chance to dip around a bit. Ah, I almost forgot. Yeah, you came back quick. Might I ask you to inform Miss May that there is a message for her? Please tell her that Miss White, a Blue Corp, phoned. Oh, right, sure. Mr. White, a Blue Corp? Where have I heard that name? White. That was his name. My sister told me. White was the name of the guy who ruined me and Maya's mother. Could it be a coincidence? There's a screw yard signal that I have from the drawer. Now's my chance to see what's inside. What do we have here? A wiretap? Hmm. What would a woman like her be doing with a thing like this? Wiretap added to the court record. There is definitely something suspicious about this Miss May. Why would she have something like this in her hotel room? There's a story behind all this. I know it. All right. I'll be using this bit of evidence in tomorrow's trial. That's for sure. For Maya's sake. I'll get to this woman's bottom. Wait, I mean, you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, bellboy, still there? Uh-oh, time to scram. I look forward to tangoing with you tomorrow, Miss May. In court. To be continued. September 7th, 10 a.m., District Court, courtroom number one. And I didn't ever go to White's either. God damn it. <laughs> Court is now in session for the trial of Miss Maya Fay. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Miles Edgeworth. I better not show any signs of weakness today, or he'll be on me in an instant. Mr. Edgeworth, please get the court your opening statement. Thank you, Your Honor. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, was at the scene of the crime. The prosecution has evidence she committed this murder. And we have a witness who saw her do it. The prosecution sees no reason to doubt the facts of this case, Your Honor. I see. Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. Let's begin, then. If we may call our first witness, Your Honor, the prosecution calls the chief officer at the scene, Detective Gumshoe. Witness, please state your name and professions to the court. Sir, my name is Dick Gumshoe, sir. I'm the detective in charge of the homicide and down at the precinct, sir. Detective Gumshoe. Please describe for us the details of this murder. Very well, sir. Let me use this floor map on the office to explain. The body was found by the window here. And the cause of death? Lots of blood due to being struck by a blunt object, sir. The murder was a statue of the sinker found next to the body, sir. It was heavy enough to be a deadly weapon, even in the girl's hands, sir. The court accepts the statue as evidence. They're still calling it a statue? Floor plans added to the court record. No, detective. Y yes sir. You immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay, who was found at the scene, correct? Can you tell me why? Yes sir. I had hard, hard evidence she did it, sir. Hmm. Detective Gumshoe, please testify to the court about this hard evidence. Witness testimony. May have Maya face arrest. As soon as the phone call came in, I rushed to the scene. There were two people there already. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, and the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay. Why? We had a witness account describing her. The witness saw Miss Maya Fay at the very moment of the murder. Hmm. The very moment, you say. Very well, Mr. R Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Cross-examine what? I couldn't see a single contradiction in that testimony. Whoosh. So, hey, Maya just truthling at me. <laughs> What's this? My sister couldn't find any contradictions in the witness's testimony. She would bluff it and press the witness on every detail. The witness always slips up and says something wrong. It works lots of times. Heh. <laughs> I should have expected Maya would know some of her sister's tricks. Alright, let's give this a try. 
Something to matter? No, Your Honor. I let them begin my cross examination. Here we go. As soon as the phone call came in, I rushed to the scene. There are two people there already. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, and the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay. Why? We had a witness account describing her. The witness saw Miss Maya Fay at the very moment of the murder. Fudge. Um. Ah, uh, goddammit. Ah. Uh. I want to check the phone. Okay, so it was 9 a.m. when the phone call happened. I want to check this again. Nothing there that contradicts anything he's saying so far. Okay, um... Witness account describing her. Wait a minute. Can't see a single contradiction in there. I'll just have to take Maya's advice and press him on anything suspicious. Holy. Who'd you say you got a call from? Hey, pal, don't play dumb. You know who. The call is from a customer at the Gatewater Hotel, right across from the crime scene. Hmm, okay, I pressed. That sure did much, though. So. Right, please continue. There are two people in there already. The defendant is Maya Fay and the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Are you absolutely sure it was us? Listen, pal, your dumb act will only get you so far. With your funky hippie clothes and your spiky hair, you two stand out like like the suspicious people at a crime scene. Well, he does have a point about her. She is pretty unmistakable. I should pick my points to press with a little more care. Wait. Why is that? What's your reason? Why? We had a witness account describing her. The witness saw Miss Maya Fay at the very moment of the murder. Hold on just one second. Y yeah? If I heard correctly, you said you arrested her before you had hard evidence she did it, correct? Huh? Did... Did I say that? Me? I heard you say it. You did say it. You said it. Exactly what about the suspicious woman in Pig's claim was hard evidence? Wh what? Miss May is suspicious, and you sure is a pink, pal. Well, well, I guess she is pink. That's enough, Detective Gumshoe. Do you have any more solid proof other than her claims, Detective? Um, hmm. I guess Preston can have his advantages. Advantages? Blah, 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 blah. Ha, huh. yes. Yeah. Sorry, I got the, the order of things mixed up in my testimony, Your Honor, sir. There was something I should have told you about first, Your Honor. Very well, Detective. Let's hear your testimony again. After securing the suspect, I examined the scene of the crime with my own eyes. I found the memo written on the piece of paper next to the victim's body. On it, the word Maya was written clearly in blood. Lab test results showed that the blood was the victim's. Also, there was blood found on the victim's finger. Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. How you like that? That's my hard evidence. Hmm. Before we begin cross-examination, I have a question for you, Detective. Y your Honor? Why didn't you testify to this vital piece of evidence the first time? Uh, that... I know. I'm real embarrassed I forgot about it, Your Honor, sir. Try to be more careful. Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. Alright. 
After securing the suspect, I examined the scene of the crime with my own eyes. I found the memo written on a piece of paper next to the victim's body. On it, the word Maya was written clearly in blood. Lab test results showed the blood was the victim's. Also, there was blood found on the victim's finger. Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. Just because you found it next to the body doesn't mean the victim wrote it. Ho <laughs> ho! Then who did write it, smarty pants? Who? Who? Um. The killer. Um, the, the killer. Anyone can see that. Oh, you're saying the killer wrote her own name? Buddy, please. She was framed. Hold on. If that's the case, where's your evidence? Nah. Nah. Huh. I guess there was a bit of a tall order for you. Those without evidence shouldn't open their mouths, Mr. Wright. Yeah, pal. Nah. Well, detective, that... Tell us what was written on that memo you found. On it, the word Maya was written clearly in blood. I mean, yeah, that that lines up. Lots of the stalls showed the blood of the victims, okay. Also, there was blood found on the victim's finger. Before she said the victim wrote the killer's name. Why? What? And did you find any evidence? Now, now, don't jump the gun on me, pal. Just listen, I'm getting to the good part. I got a bad feeling about this. Wait a minute. On which hand was the bloody finger, detective? The right hand. Hmm. She was right-handed. Ha! Ha ha! Nice try. Uh-oh. I guess I wasn't... It wasn't too hard to see what I was getting at there. Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. Detective Gumshoe, do you get a lot of cases where the victim actually writes the killer's name? Sure. It happens all the time in books and the movies. This isn't a movie, detective. Oof. Let's talk about reality, shall we? Um, I guess I haven't heard of many cases, no. Don't you find it a little odd that the victim would write down a name? Especially the name of her own sister? Ah, uh, yeah, actually. You got a point, pal. Stop right there! The witness's opinion on the matter is relevant. The facts are clear. The victim wrote down the name of the accused. The victim told us the name of her killer. Order! Order! That didn't go so well. That's right, what he said. That's his whole testimony. Okay, there has to be a contradiction in there somewhere. Let's find it. Okay, so... He examined the scene of the crime with his own eyes. Obviously, yeah, yeah, yeah. I found the memo written on a piece of paper written next to the victim's body. On it, the word Maya was written clearly in blood. What kind of tests were these again? Huh? What kind? Um, well, I hear they take the, um, little bits in the blood. The, er, uh, hemo... Hemoglo... Hermo... Goblins... Hob... Gob... Er... Uh, Herma... Goblin... Bobbin... I refuse to test mine in this matter, pal. I'm no expert on blood tests. Yes, that was quite queer. <laughs> oh, that was great. You... <laughs> I'm sorry. You may continue with your testimony. So thanks, pal. I mean, your honor, sir. Detective Gumshoe. Y yeah? I look forward to your next evaluation, as should you. 
Uh, oh, that was a mess. Right, where was I? Also, there was blood found on the victim's finger. Objection. It's at the gumshoe. There's one thing I want you to clarify for me here. You said that the victim, M Mia Fey, wrote this note. That she was accusing the defendant, Mia Fey. That's really what you're saying. Wh what? This isn't one of those lawyer tricks now, is it? Of course you're right. Who else could have? You have a backwards, detective. But backwards? The victim is the only person who absolutely could not have written it. This is a report from your department, detective. Immediate death due to blow from a blunt object. She died immediately! But... No butting your way out of this one, detective. Order! Order! I gotta pause and split the part, but this is actually getting good. Uh, so let's, let's continue.